The Nemecola native who led the labor movement for decades will be posthumously honored with the nation's highest civilian award, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Richard Trumka died last August at the age of 72. President Joe Biden will honor Trumka's life and long and work along with that of 16 other awardees, including Simone Biles and the late John McCain. The White House says there will be a ceremony next week. Trumpka was president of the United Mine Workers from 1982 to 1995, then served with the AFL-CIO until he was elected president in 2009. He led the union's 12 and a half million members until he died.